What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be checking out the MRC Master Resin Collection Trunks Life Size Bust. Now this is a prototype, the second prototype to be exact. I was uh, sent to me early for review. This uh, I believe is shipping around September. Uh, it comes in three giant boxes. I only got one box today. I'm getting another two tomorrow, but you guys won't notice the difference. I'm pretty confident this is going to be either the base or the body. Uh, and when this does actually ship, you're going to have nicer boxes, probably better styrofoam, probably straps, colored art box. Because this is the prototype, it just came in a standard box like this. I believe even the Gita box. <laughs> but let's uh, see what we got in here. Alrighty, so from what I can tell, we definitely have Trunks' head and maybe part of the base. Let's see. Okay, so the first piece we took out was Trunks' sword holster. You can see to my hand, this is massive. All right, next we got the sword that Trunks holds. Look how big this is. Man, this is huge. Full life-size sword. So this simply is just going to go inside there, obviously. You don't have the entire sword. Now I also pulled this off, which is part of the base. And then we have a head and probably a hair strand. I don't have the extra head base though, unfortunately. So that'll be in another box, but we can at least look at the head. Alrighty, so here is Trunks' head. It is massive. It had a bazillion styrofoams inserted in every which angle to prevent damage. Uh, no damage on mine, uh, fortunately. But you can just see like how wavy his hair is. So they put styrofoam all throughout every single uh, string of hair, but no damage. Uh, and then he's gonna have one more strand of hair coming out in the front. And I believe it's that one right there. Uh, I don't have anything to really put this on cause that's part of the main base. Uh, it does come with an extra headstand, but as far as I know, his head won't fit in there. That's a huge hole to put a head in. Yeah, so that's gonna be part of the main base. And then the sword. So this is everything, just one box. But you can just see how massive that head is. It is huge. I mean, it's a, bigger than life size, really. Let's wait for the second box, though. Hey, okay, folks, so we are going to be setting up the Trunks bus now by MRC. So I opened one additional box, and as you can see, we have a body and an arm, a dragon head, not sure, and the nameplate. Yeah, Future Warrior Trunks, just like Vegeta has one. So that means the head and the base is gonna be in that box. So we'll wanna get the base out first, of course, before we start setting this bad boy up. Alrighty, so I'm opening another box. This one was really difficult to get out of that brown thing. Uh, I opened it up uh, upside down, of course, and we took out all this, the base, the hand, and the belt loop. And on this side, we have the Super Saiyan head and the base for it. Alrighty, folks, I got every single part out. So now we're gonna go ahead and set this bad boy up. So there's a lot of parts to this, so bear with me. But I did wanna show it to you in full detail and everything. So first thing, we got this part for the base. And that went in perfectly. And then the body will rest here, but there's a few parts on the base that we do have to put. So Shenron Dragon comes with four different arms. Just gonna have to find which one's which. Actually, I think I had it right. Yep, like that. Let me just. Ah, uh, no, no, no. One right there. So there's two arms right there. And I wonder if the last one's also with this. Yep. So all the arms are basically uh, next to each other. 
and they're all fit via magnet. Next would be actually Shenron. Now he does come with a light up feature which I don't uh, believe it has batteries. Yeah, uh, some batteries will go in here. Frankly, I'll probably never use that, so it's fine. I don't uh, really care for batteries too much, to be brutally honest. Uh, I don't care for light-ups, what I mean. All right. Then he does come with two whiskers, just like Vegeta. So there we go. Next, we're going to do the body. So the body is huge, very heavy. So bear with me, folks. And we got it on, perfect. Next, we can do his sword. Now, this thing is freaking huge. Look at the size of this thing. It's very big, you know, and this comes off, of course. So if you wanna do it piece by piece, giant peg right here. And they had to cut it off back here. So it basically doesn't hit the ground. So it's close, you got about one finger's worth. And of course, this sword will go here. Like that. It's just slightly coming out. Next, you have this sword thing as well. Now, let me just see where this goes. Okay. I'm actually going to remove the dragon whisker. Actually, I'm just going to remove the dragon head entirely. Uh, bear with me, it's a little tricky, the angles. Got it in. All right. There we go. Next, we're going to get Trunks's arm. So here is his arm, has a giant rod and peg. All right, I finally got it. So you want to carry the hand and the arm and put them in together as it goes in the, each socket. So it is very tricky, very, very tricky. But I managed it, nothing happened when it fell, it's fine. Here is the nameplate. Did that just sit there? Yeah, I believe that just sits there like that. Uh, and then here is the sword thing that goes up here like that. Man, this is freaking huge. Next, we're gonna do the normal head. God, I hope this doesn't hit. Woo. Gotta be very careful. Next is gonna be the hair strand, which is gonna go like this.
And there you have it. Last but not least, there's a Dragon Ball to go inside Shenron's mouth. Oh my goodness. This was not easy. But look at how massive this is. Definitely bigger than one-to-one -one scale. I'm sure it weighs a thousand pounds. I'm gonna have to take it off again. But Jupiter's cock, this is huge. You know, just as big as the Vegeta. If not, I mean, it's not as tall, I don't think. I'm gonna, let me get my tape measure. So we gotta measure this bad boy. So, he is about 16 inches deep, and his widest point is about 27 inches wide, and the tallest point is going to be to the top of the sword, 35 inches. So, 35 inches tall by 27 inches width. And this, uh, it's not even done. We actually have an extra head. Uh, so let me, uh, it's still in the styrofoam, but let me get that and set that up. Alrighty, so here is the extra head if you're gonna be displaying this. This alone is already huge, uh, especially with that Super Saiyan hair, but the base is the brown, glossy, like wood type finish with the MRC logo. It simply just holds the head. So not as nice as the one fourth headstand, uh, but that if they did that style, it'd be much bigger. So this one kept it very minimal, but allowing you to display the extra head. Now the extra head is an additional cost. The standard one, uh, I believe does not come with the Super Saiyan head, or I may be wrong. Uh, again, I'll put in the description below information regarding this if you're interested in buying, but just look how massive this is. This is freaking humongous, especially that arm. That arm just adds so much to it. It really does add a lot of presence and uh, just crazy looking. So let's get on with the review of this bad boy. So same base as the Vegeta base where you have this MRC logo, Shenron dragon flying around eating the Dragon Ball. Very, very classy and awesome looking. You have this name plaque, DBZ Future Warrior Trunks, and that looks awesome. So, very, very cool. Just like that. So that looks great. And then uh, this one has a lot of body to it, you know. You're getting his entire upper body with this giant trunks holster. Look at the skin texture, just amazing. The leather jacket, well, not leather, but Trunks' jacket. Giant capsule corp. Then the sword holster. Already, so let's look at this arm that goes in. So you don't really see a seam line here. Again, you saw how difficult it was for me to get that in. You really have to do it at the same time with different angles. Might be easier with three people. <laughs> uh, the portrait, perfect, just like the one four scale. Amazing trunk sculpt, the hair looks awesome, wild looking. This will definitely look better up high when I move it above my Vegeta bust. So that would look amazing. And then the Super Saiyan portrait, we'll check that out shortly. Uh, check out this one though. So this has a very similar detail to the Vegeta life-size bust. If you own that, you'll understand what I'm talking about. So they actually sculpt the entire back. It's not, you know, some busts, they don't actually sculpt this part. They just leave it black. I prefer fully sculpted, so you can have it as a 360 degree view. So they did sculpt out a little hair to allow this uh, so it doesn't bump too much into his head. There is the hand. You know, this is an anime, keep in mind. So it's not supposed to be like silicone or super, super uh, detailed like a, you know, ECC or something. But for an anime, it's as best as you're going to get for sure to really represent trunks in one-to-one, -one, well, bigger than one-to-one, -one, really. And I love the fact it comes with two heads. I wish Vegeta had a second Super Saiyan head with a base. I'd freaking love that.
But yeah, this thing's absolutely insane. The presence is just wild. As you can see next to one third scales, it is absolutely wild. So let's go ahead and get the one fourth trunks and see how that looks. Alrighty, and here it is next to the one fourth scale uh, MRC trunks. Again, these are both prototypes, uh, not the finished production piece. Production probably could be even better. They generally always try to make improvements. Uh, so, yeah, they look absolutely fantastic, though. You know, Trunks is like a 20-inch tall statue and then 35-inch tall bust, so absolutely huge. But they do go perfectly well together, be in same pose, same heads. It's really just, you know, a bigger version of that is what it is. You know, obviously, as you can see, but you can see also some of the quality differences. You know, like, look at that uh, holster right there, and then that one. They just added a lot more on the paint. They're able to do more with the paint job. Like, the skin texture is more prominent. The hair detail is more prominent, you know, like right there versus that. You know, so obviously the life size does have better detail. And, of course, that presence is just wild. So this thing is fr freakishly huge. You know, I'm not understanding. This is freakishly huge. So you're definitely going to want to make sure you have space, but it's absolutely phenomenal. Alrighty, folks. So this was my initial plan, although I'm starting to second guess if I should put it here as trunks is, I mean, Vegeta as well. They're just both so massive. Having them top shelf like this makes it quite difficult. And honestly, I can't even put the Super Saiyan head on because it hits the ceiling. Uh, so I think I might just move this on the garage shelving over there and make that an entire Trunks Vegeta display. Uh, Trunks and Vegeta 1 fourth with the head underneath and these two top shelf. So it does look good here, no doubt, but it's just so freaking big like Jupiter's cock. Oh my gosh, this thing's huge. I did notice one issue with mine. This is not the same as that one. It's missing that outer layer so it doesn't magnetize. So I'm going to contact MRC and get a replacement one of these because mine is missing that. Uh, so I definitely need to get that. And then, of course, I'll need to get my COA showing this as a prototype. So prototypes generally always have issues, to be honest. Uh, production almost always turns out better. Although the paint, if it's a master prototype, is generally the best. Uh, this is a second prototype, is what it is. So I'm going to need to get a new one of those, get my COAs, but I'm going to move it to where Broly is. I think that's better just because when you see how big it is here, it's just like I don't have a lot of space to back up. I feel like a one-fourth would go better there and having them right there and there. Uh, if you know what I mean. I mean, just look how big that is compared to Tsume Vegeta and these tiny little busts right here. So considering the massive size, this will be much better. And then Tsume Broly right there. And then I was thinking Prime 1 Goku and Vegeta would actually go there. Uh, and then we could just keep the villains inside here. Because, uh, you know, that opens up two giant spots for uh, villains and whatnot. So I think I'll probably do that. I was wanting to do a villains display and consider wanting to get KD Go, uh, Goku versus Janemba. But I think Trunks Bust and Vegeta Bust should go here with the one force and the head in the middle. I think that is the best option uh, just so I can stand back and really admire the beauty of them. So I'm going to move them both over here. Alrighty, folks. So here it is on the garage shelving. I think this is the way to go. Because having this on top of a stuva, it just feels too big. To the point of like, whoa, calm down. This is 36 inches tall, in case you're aware. Uh, but this is a good height for these busts. Uh, you know, I'm looking at it straight on like this. As you can see, monstrously big. Now, Trunks is bigger than Vegeta. He's bigger in the anime than Vegeta, so it does make sense. You know, he's a little bit wider, a little bit taller. Technically, Vegeta is taller because of his hairstyle, but Trunks is bigger overall. For a bust, he definitely has more presence, mostly because of the arm and the wider shoulders. You know, Vegeta's shoulder cuts off right there, or his cuts off right there. So you get more shoulder, and that's really to allow that Capsule Corp logo on the jacket here. But let's do some more close-ups of this while we have it here. So I'm not going to be displaying the Super Saiyan head. Uh, I'm going to be displaying the normal head. 
but I did want to show you the Super Saiyan head obviously on it. So I just uh, want to do the Super Saiyan head with the one fourth. So what I'm thinking actually is doing the one fourth right here because I like this one fourth top shelf and I wanted to put it, uh, the Super Saiyan head right here with that Super Saiyan head. So you guys can see the full unboxing review of Trunks one fourth tomorrow, by the way. Uh, just, today's a sneak peek of it. Let's go ahead and put the normal head back on though. Alrighty, folks, so here is a good angle of Trunks bust next to Vegeta bust. I think I might just keep my Saiyan Saga and keep it down there like that. I actually really like this. You know, I got that poster above. Broly goes here with the figure art zeros, COAs. And I moved UC Studio Trunks because I want to be able to look at this Trunks uh, all the time. He actually fits with the bust inside of a Stuva, not a Besta, a Stuva. And then I put UC Studio Trunks over here. Boo. I'll put Prime 1 Goku Vegeta. We'll get Vegeta MRC right there, KD Goku, KD Frieza, Androids, KD Piccolo. And then I still have uh, Frieza and one additional slot for another character. Maybe even Bardock, I was thinking, could go good. Frieza and Bardock down low. I may even just move Androids over here and do Boo over here so it's Boo, Cell, and Frieza. Anyways, folks, uh, so yeah, this Trunks bus is an absolute grail. It's monstrously huge. If you're a Trunks fan, definitely jump on the, the bandwagon for this. I believe it's shipping in September. It's going to have the fancy uh, art boxes. It'll probably be packaged better. It's going to come with COAs. It's not gonna, it'll probably be constructed better. Uh, so because mine is an early prototype, you know, they made it quickly. And of course, it's not going to be as flawless as your guys's will be. Uh, so, uh, you know, it'll probably come in less than three boxes. Well, I, I bet it'll come in two boxes for you guys. So less expensive shipping. Uh, but if you are interested in purchasing, uh, pre-ordering this bust, uh, if memory recalls, it's $1,099 plus shipping. As you can see, it is an absolute monster. You can see next to Broly just how big this piece is. The presence is absolutely insane. And if you're a Trunks fan like me, must have. So email mrcstatue at gmail.com. Link in the description below if you're interested. Join my Facebook group, DBZ Resin Collectors. And the next uh, item I'll get from MRC will be their 1-4 scale I Am Super Vegeta. Uh, so I'll be getting an early prototype for that as well in the next few weeks. So stay tuned for that video. Otherwise, hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.